San Antonio is full of history and a mix of different culture and there's a big influence from European settlers here as well. Obviously, you know, one of the most popular areas here in town is the King William District and part of it is because it has so much history. Yeah, you guys, so much history and I knew about the King William District from before but I never really actually went there and explored and dived into it. So that's what I did just recently. So the area is growing fast and I found out in this morning's in town that the residents are also helping preserve the rich history. We all know San Antonio and the Hill Country have a heavy European and specifically German influence. There's accounts of people going downtown, all the old dusty colonial buildings falling apart and you'd hear 12 different languages. But have you ever wondered where those immigrants first settled in San Antonio? King William District is one of those first neighborhoods that started creeping down along the river uh, south of the city center, La Villita, just mm -hmm. north of us, for instance. Mm -hmm. um, and it was populated by a lot of German immigrants or just people from Central Europe in general. Since the 1800s, the King William District has really changed, and now it's gearing more towards being a new tourist attraction in town. If you're coming to San Antonio, I advise that you come check out the King William area, come drive by some streets and, and see the different types of styles of homes that we have here and, you know, the development going on and, and you know, you, you got the river walk and you got public bikes. While it's evolving, it's also making sure it holds on to its rich history. The area is one of the fastest growing and most expensive in San Antonio, according to realtor Joseph Borrego. A point one two of an acre lot. <laughs> Yeah, for $150,000. Yeah. Cash. Yeah, closed in seven days. It was insane. New restaurants, apartments, and bars are popping up daily, but one thing that will never go out of style are the historic homes that have been around for decades. So we made it to the Gunther house. Let's go check out what's inside. A lot of these historic homes are open to the public. The Gunther house belonged to the family who owned the first flour mill, which still produces their product right here in San Antonio. Another popular destination is the Homestead House. That's where we find tourists from New York who flew down to the Alamo City and spent an entire day checking out the historic homes in the King William area. We get a real sense of what living is like in San Antonio. We're discovering a lot of different things about San Antonio that I didn't know that was here. The King William District is a classic and one that's sure to only get better with time. Yeah, I just, I loved my time there, you guys. So those houses that I went into, I love that they give public tours. I'm going to have to check it out. Yeah, I really want to do that. I hope you took lots of pictures because it's a very picturesque area. You know what? <laughs> we should all go to the Gunther house and they have a restaurant downstairs. Great nice. restaurant. Should, yes, yeah. I've never go. been. I'm down. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so. okay we're going to be right back. Stay with us.